Hi guys, I thought today we'd look at Little One. Uh, it's originally one of my favourite tunes by Jimi Hendrix and then this guy Laurence Joubert covered it and it's amazing. It's all acoustic and solo so there's no singing. Uh, he's got loads on YouTube and there's the collection which you can check out. Um, and basically we're just going to work through that. This first session will be the intro, then we'll look at the verse and then if we get time and enough interest we'll look at the big solo at the end. Uh, there'll be a performance video of it going up as well, so you can check that. I'll do a run through the intro here, but before each verse and so do I, just you can check that out, uh, which I'll put a link to. Uh, and yeah, if you can check out my band, Glass Balloon, uh, I'll put some links down at the bottom, and I've got my album out, as you know, and let's crack on. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the 12th fret of the E string. I play it with my thumb. Uh, you could play it with your finger, but we're going to go grab a bar for the top three. So the, the alternative, I think, if you don't like your thumb, is play the open E, because it's the same note. Okay, and then we're going to slide down. We're going to grab the E, the B, and the G, uh, and we're going to bar that and slide it all the way to the bottom. And then pick the open E again. Then you do this little mute with your left hand. Just place your hand on the strings, down up. Okay, all together. Ooh, don't play it like that. Then we come in, it's basically playing around on the little E minor pentatonic scale. And we're going to go in for the second fret of the D, we're going to hammer into it from the open. And then we're going to pick the open G and B with our uh, index and middle finger. And then come back to the second fret of the D. Then we're going to keep picking those same two fingers in the right hand and come to the second fret of the G, hammer on pull off. And then we're going to go just picking out the open D hammer on pull off second fret okay so all together that bit really slow up to speed and then ring finger comes and grabs the G on the bass string so third fret and then there's a little bit of a forward roll So basically you're going to pick the bass and then index, middle and ring are going to consecutively pick G, B and E and the smoother and faster you can get that you get closer and closer to a forward roll but it's one after the other. Then you're going to pick the open G with your index and then we're going to do this kind of hammer on pull off as if you were coming into a C, so it's first fret of the B, second fret of the D, and you do it three times, picking the uh, D and the B in the right hand. So you pick that open G, and then B and the D, and then we go G B, uh, sorry G D in the right hand. So that bar. Slide up to the 5th fret, I use my thumb because I don't like doing this full bar. Um, Laurent Joubert does it with his full finger. Uh, Jimmy when he's playing these plays them like that, but he does a slightly different pattern. So, I'm going to slide in to the 5th fret uh, with the thumb, for me, might be your first finger, and then bar the rest of the 5th fret. 
Uh, and then we are going to do this. Which is hammer on pull offs on every fret. So I do another little forward row in. You can't just pick straight to the top string. And you're going to go five hammer on the seventh fret. And then pick the fifth fret of the B, hammer on the eighth fret. Then pick the fifth fret of the G, hammer on the seventh. And then same thing on the D. And then we're going to play the fifth fret of the A, hammer on to seventh, and do the same thing on the D. Open E. Okay, next part, we're going to go bass and then we're going to pick out the harmonics at the 12th fret. So don't press down, line your hand up over the metal bar rather than over the fret. And then we're going to pick one after the other from the D, G, B, E. down on the E minus so it's the picking up the D and the G in the right hand and then you're gonna hammer on pull off again second fret of the D then you're gonna pick oh sorry let's do that again you're gonna hammer on pull off the second fret of the G then you're gonna pick the second fret of the D and then you're gonna do the hammer on pull off thing on the D and then you're gonna do a pull off so you're going to pick the second fret of the A and pull off to the open. Once more, nice and slow. If you can hear that weird banging, that's Laurie's driving past the house. So, that bar re minor. Again, we're going to slide up to the seventh fret. Same thing. If you if you're going to bar, use your first finger. If you're going to do what I do with the sort of minor seven, slide the thumb. Then we're going to pick D, G, and then B and E together. Then you're going to pick the D string, and then you're going to pick the G and the B together, hammer on, pull off at the ninth fret. Then we do this little walk down, we're going to pick the D string, and then pick out the B and the G, and walk down so you go 7, 6, 5. You could alternatively play the bass and then use your three fingers on the D, the G and the B, which personally I prefer, uh, so it would be like this. So that whole bar, and then we have a little strum of the A minor 7 chord. You can either strum it, forward roll it, anything you like really. So you play in the cover. And then we're going to do that same hammer on pull off thing we did earlier. So we pick the open G. Just like it was in the earlier bar with the A minor. Then nearly at the end of the intro, we're going to go for this lovely G voicing that Hendrix likes to play. Which is still a G because you're just adding an extra G in taking away that C note and replacing it with a G which is thumb on the bass of the 3rd fret uh, ring finger is playing the 5th fret of the D open G uh, little 1st uh, finger is always playing the 3rd fret of the B and little finger is playing the 5th fret of the thin string and we're going to pick through that we're going to go bass D string G string And then we're going to pick the D, the B and the E all together. 
slide it up, two frets, slide it back. Pick the bass again, and then slide it back two frets. And then there's two little picks, same strings on this F. Once more. C, I like to forward roll them, you can strum them. Two strums, or two forward rolls. And then you're going to pick the B string, hammer onto the third fret with your little finger, and then pick the open E. And then you're going to come in to this, it's basically a little D triad. Or not even triad, could we only play two notes? Uh, and you're going to play the second fret of the G and the open D. Then we do a little bar where we slide into the D, the G, and the B, seventh fret. And then you do a hammer on. This is kind of tricky, this bit takes a little bit of practice. So you slide into the seventh fret, and then you hammer on to the eighth fret of the B and the ninth fret of the D, and pull off again. Once more. Then the ring finger comes across to continue making just another voicing a D, which is D over F sharp. And you're gonna pick, so the ring finger's on the ninth fret of the A, and you're gonna pick the A string, D string, and G string. So you slid in, hammer on, pull off, ring finger to the A, pick those three strings. And you're gonna pick the A string again, Middle finger comes into the 8th fret of the G, and you quickly slide up so that you become 9th fret of the G, 10th fret of the A. And then you're back to that D over F sharp chord. Then the last bit, little finger comes over to the bass on the 10th fret, and you can either pick it three times, five times even. Or he does this little, if you come right out back to uh, where the bridge is, or the saddle, and then just lightly tap the side of your thumb, if you can see that, you get this kind of heartbeat sound. Okay, so that whole bit. And then slide it out to finish. Okay, I'll play it through all the way, nice and slow. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, if you could like and subscribe and do all those funky things, that would be brilliant. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I'm not really doing requests anymore, I'm going to set up a Patreon page and then sort it through there just so that I can get more stuff done with my time. Brilliant. Thanks guys. Cheers.